Imagine this, you decided to start a channel. You upload many videos, you're so excited, but next thing you know, your channel is not eligible for monetization. You have no idea what's going on because you worked so hard on your project. So today we're gonna show you how to avoid this and how to join the YouTube Partner Program faster with no denials. Hi, my name is Arthur, this is the Mobile Vlog, and let's start with the requirements. What do you need to consider if you want to be accepted for the YouTube Partner Program? Firstly, your country needs to be eligible. Yes, in some countries you cannot monetize your channel, and maybe you live in one of these countries. I suggest you check this article from Google and see whether your country is on the list. You must be at least 18 years old to be able to monetize your content. So if you created an account and you're not 18 years old yet, then you won't be able to make money money from your content even if your content is eligible. But don't worry, there is a way, ask your parent or a custodian to create a YouTube and AdSense account, then you'll be fine. You also should follow the community guidelines, moreover, if you will not follow these rules, your channel might be terminated. We have a different video about this, I definitely recommend you to watch it, but let's run through these rules once again real quick. Spam, deceptive practices and scams. You cannot promote controversial sites and excessively ask viewers to follow Follow the link in the description. Misleading metadata or thumbnails. In other words, clickbaits. Meaning, if you want to trick users into believing the content is something it is not. For example, you name your video, I found Mr. Beast naked, but in the video there is just you talking on camera and that's it. This will not work out well for you and you might even get your video rated R. YouTube doesn't like any kind of spam or scam, they will not monetize this content and might even delete your channel. Talking about nudity, YouTube is very cautious about this content, but I hope it's obvious that you should have the top and bottom parts of your body covered. For example, if you run a fitness channel where you have to show your body on camera, it's fine, but make sure your pants are tight. But if not sure, consider reading this article. By the way, if you're looking for an intuitive software to make your YouTube videos with, don't miss out on the chance to use our coupon that gives a 15% discount on the annual subscription to Movavi Video Editor Plus 2021, the Let's Start a Vlog FX set and handy set. Movavi Video Editor Plus is perfect for quick video editing. The interface is intuitive, all the basic tools you might need as a beginner are already there, also you can get themed Movavi add-ons to adjust the built-in media collection to your own taste and needs. The Movavi effects integrate into the app, which makes applying them very convenient. The Let's Start a Vlog Effects set includes four popular packs as the My Channel Pack, Click the Bell Pack, Elegant Vlog Pack and Soft Minimalism Pack. All the effects were created specifically for YouTube, so it has everything you may need for creating a consistent, stylish look for your videos. The handy set was made specifically for drawing the viewer's attention to certain elements of a video. With the help of this set you can make highlights or add captions that will go with almost any video. If you like the offer, hit the link in the description or pinned comment to get both effect sets and the annual subscription to Movavi Video Editor Plus at 15% off. If you have kids in your videos, everything has to be nice and positive. Any serious adult discussions with kids, any situations where a kid might be in danger, should be avoided. YouTube is very serious about this and they might even delete your channel. So content for kids or with kids should be produced very carefully and you should think twice before starting a channel like this. Talking about dangerous content, you cannot demonstrate any harmful or dangerous actions. Even if someone has lost a significant amount of weight and then encourages viewers to imitate anorexia or other eating disorders, this is also what YouTube doesn't like. That's why YouTubers that create content with challenges or pranks suffer a lot, their videos get demonetized. Therefore, if you want to make this kind of content and want to get your videos monetized, you should follow the rules to be accepted for the YouTube Partner Program. Of course, there are some exceptions, for example, if we can understand from the context that it's just a joke and no one is mad at someone, then YouTube might accept this content. But in other cases, it may look controversial and I recommend you create content that is more friendly and valuable instead of making something that might violate the rules. You also also need to have zero copyright strikes. You can have some copyright claims, however, to be honest, even the claims should be avoided, but if you will receive at least one copyright strike, don't even consider getting your channel monetized. I'll give you a clear example with music. You've downloaded a music track from a website, you know nothing about the rights, and you upload your video to YouTube with this music. After some time, you receive a claim that you don't have the rights to use this music track, but don't worry, you can leave it, however, the creator of this 
track will receive your income from this video or a part of it. That way you either cut the music from the video or contest the complaint or you can just accept it but it means that you will not make money from your video. So if your channel is not a part of the YouTube Partner Program, make sure you download music that you have the rights to use. By the way, we have a separate video just on this topic. Channels where content is slightly different from video to video are not allowed to monetize. In other words, your channel shouldn't consist of content that is automatically created or produced using a basic template. This content will be categorized as repetitious. You cannot remix your content and re-upload it. You can make the same intro and outro for your videos, but the bulk of your content has to be different. Content that exclusively features readings of other materials you did not originally create, like a text from websites and news feeds, mindless content with no educational value, commentary or narrative, all this is not acceptable for monetization on YouTube. I want to point this out specifically. AI voiceover is not allowed. You know the sites where you can create a voiceover from a text? YouTube will not pay you for this content. They want to listen to a real person. Just use your mouth. The next one is very overlooked, but it's actually critical. The majority of your content have to be your own. So if you download a video of another YouTuber, you modify it a bit and you upload it to your channel. This is not monetizable content. If you make compilations out of videos you don't have the rights to use, forget about making money with this content. A very common thing today is reuse TikTok videos, reuse gameplays, music compilations. If your video consists of famous movie scenes or you have a reaction channel, it is more likely you won't be eligible for monetization because you want to make money with content that you don't have the rights to use. So make sure that 90 to 100% of your content is original. It happens that some creators upload their videos with the Creative Commons license, but it doesn't mean that you can just download this video and upload it to your channel. You need to have at least some commentary in the video. The next two you probably know already, but for some of you, you need to get at least a thousand subscribers subscribers, not 500, not 800, not 999, at least a thousand subscribers. And second, 4000 watch time hours or 240,000 watch time minutes for the last 12 months. You can check the progress in the desktop version of the YouTube studio, just click on the monetization tab and here you go. But for some of you it might be difficult to open up the desktop version every time so you can download the YT Tracker app. Just link your channel and you will see two graphs, one for subscribers and one for watch time. It's very convenient, I recommend you to try this out. And now question, how long will it take to get a thousand subscribers and four thousand watch time hours? Well, it depends. For some it may take weeks, for some months and for others almost a year. But on average I would say three to six months taken into consideration that you upload frequently at least one time a week and you work hard to improve your videos every time. Again, in some cases it may take even one month, so who knows? If you're looking for a way to get monetization faster, I recommend you to watch this video. Also, smash the like button if you like the video, and I will see you next time.